Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be another proof unboxing video and it's probably not going to be too long, but of course I say that about every video, so you should probably disregard that right off the bat. About a month ago, I ordered the proof copy for Faith Unbroken, which is the fourth book in my series. Um, I'm still undecided whether that will be the final book in the series because there is potential for one more but i'm not going to get ahead of myself here and promise anything just yet so for now we are going to open this looks exactly like the package for the last proof copy of course and we'll get right into it and then i also wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about um something that is kind of like a recent development on the writing and publishing front but before we get into any of that let's get into this because i really want to see how this turned out now, I'm not making the same mistake I made last time, which was going to get a pair of scissors, which I didn't need, ultimately. But it still says tear here to open, so it's perfectly idiot proof for people like me. So we're going to tear here to open. i give that a little piece of paper to the cat later. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Ah, there we go. So on the front, obviously, title and byline, and then on the back, I ended up going with a green cover. Looks good so far in terms of margins and gutters and everything else that's important when you're formatting a book. So far, I have no complaints, <laughs> of course. Um, you know, it's a five second glance, so I'm actually going to need to go over it and a little bit more detail later but for now uh, everything seems to be the way it should be which is really good it's fine not bad i try to keep the formatting fairly consistent across all of my series books and all of my books in general because i find it's easier when you just have one blueprint that you work from and then all your subsequent books don't require that much time to format but who knows i might change that up in the future so, on the inside, very simple front matter stuff. I really don't go crazy with this because I don't think that's what people really care about. I could be wrong, but I prefer to just get right into the story. So, obviously, copyright disclaimer over on this page, and then chapter one starts over on that page. So far, as I've said, it seems pretty good. I'm not seeing any obvious issues, um, which doesn't mean that there are no issues because it is a proof copy. Um, and the whole point of a proof copy is to go over it and make sure that it is exactly the way you want it to be before someone else buys it. So, uh, but for a first glance, I think it's, it's pretty good. Uh, I would say like 99%. And then of course in the back, really nothing too interesting. Although I did change up the formatting just a little bit with this book and my list of other titles or other books by me are now, if I can turn the damn page, <laughs> are now at the back. Uh, I just, I don't know why I did it that way, I just kind of felt like it was better at the end, you know? So let's just talk a little bit about this book and the process that I went through to publish it. And also too, why I decided to move the release date up from spring of this year to what was essentially the end of 2022. Some of you probably already know, um, there have been and continue to be quite a lot of personal changes in my life right now. And um, in terms of what I'm gonna be doing this spring, career-wise, I don't think I'm gonna have time to promote this book very much. I wanted to just kind of get this one done and out the door so I could focus on other projects. And I'm, I'm kind of happy that I did that. I'm kind of relieved because it it was a project that took me a long time to do. As many of you know, there were a lot of ups and downs. I wasn't always so fond of the story, I, although over time it did grow on me once I really pinpointed what I wanted to say and I kind of worked out all the little kinks and all the little creases. So I'm really, really happy with how this particular story turned out, um, as I said, I guess it was in a blog post, must have been a blog post, or maybe I said it here on YouTube. This is more of an adult book than a YA book because naturally the characters are aging now at this point in the series. So once I sort of moved away from it being a YA book into an adult book, it gave me a lot more freedom for things that I wanted to say and issues that I wanted to explore. 
Now that that's done, we can talk about some other writing and publishing related updates. At the end of 2022, I was approached by a site called Shepherd.com about one of my books. And some of you may know this book because some of you have actually read it yourselves. And the book was The Spirit Catchers. I was really surprised when they approached me because obviously, as you already know, I have not been very active on social media or even on my own website for that matter, promoting any of my titles. Shepherd.com is a new way to discover books, or if you're an author, it's a new way to promote books that you've written. So the way it works is by categorizing book recommendations based on topic lists. And what they're essentially aiming to do is make it feel like you're scrolling through a virtual bookstore. Instead of having advertisements and recommendations kind of foisted on you, it's more like whatever you're interested in, there's a list for that. And if an author has written a book that sort of fits that list, Shepherd.com will help them to promote it as well. So it's a very collaborative approach to book marketing. Shepherd.com has a really ambitious roadmap for 2023, which includes things like browsing by genre and age group. Personally, I'm really excited to see where this all goes and how it all plays out. So I really hope you'll check them out. And like I said, if you wouldn't mind just kind of like sneaking over to check my recommendation list, that would be super. I'm really um, looking forward to the next few months in terms of getting this book a little bit more visibility and kind of bringing some of my older books back to the floor. So anyway, guys and gals, that's about all I have for you today. Of course, this video would not be complete without a special guest appearance from none other than that little troublemaker in the background. She's actually behaved herself this time. I'm really impressed. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little unboxing slash shepherd.com promotional video. As always, my name is Jess and I look forward to catching you on the next video. we got some ASMR action happening up in here. Sorry to tell you guys, this is now an ASMR channel. You're not in the video. Did I tell you to sit on that?